Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Murray Yates and I have to warn you dear friends that today we are going to explore one of the most debated chapters of the Bible. Genesis 19 is a powder keg of hot topics that's probably been argued over since the day it was first written. Now I did attempt to try to explain my own thoughts and questions this chapter arises. However I soon realised that I had written nearly a whole sermon. And for the brief time limit of this introduction I have decided to put it aside until I come around to creating a new series exploring such matters in further detail. I've even decided to remove the What It Means For Us segment of the show because I am sure we will all have different views, which I do invite you to write in the comment section below. Please understand that I am not trying to ignore the issues of this chapter. I just feel for the show that the Daily Visual Bible has become, it's better to keep things short and attempt to explain my thoughts and these matters elsewhere. Don't forget that you can email me here at the Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Please also be sure to subscribe. I can't begin to tell you how much it helps us out, and in return we will send you unique links to bonus videos. And let's do the right thing, knowing God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 19 the two angels came to Sodom at evening. Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. Lot saw them and rose up to meet them. He bowed himself with his face to the earth and he said, See now, my lords, please turn aside into your servant's house. Stay all night, wash your feet, and you can rise up early and go on your way. He said, No, but we will stay in the street all night. He urged them greatly, and they came in with him and entered into his house. He made them a feast, and baked unleavened bread, and they ate. Before they could lie down, the men of the city, the men of Sodom, surrounded the house, both young and old, all the people from every quarter. He called out to Lot and said, Where are the men who came into you this night? Bring them out to us, that we may have sex with them. Lord went out to them, to the door, and shut the door after him. He said, Please, my brothers, don't act so wickedly. See now, I have two virgin daughters. Please let me bring them out to you, and you may do with them what seems good to you. Only don't do anything to these men, because they have come under the shadow of my roof. They said, Stand back! Then they said, This one fellow came in to live as a foreigner, and he appoints himself a judge. Now we will deal worse with you than with them. They pressed hard on the man Lot, and came near to break the door. However, the men reached out their hand, and brought Lot into the house to them, and shut the door. He struck the men who were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they troubled themselves to find the door. The men said to Lot, Do you have anybody else here? Sons-in-law, your sons, your daughters, no wherever you have in the city. Bring them out of the place. We will destroy this place. Because the outcry against them has grown so great before Yahweh that Yahweh has sent us to destroy it. Lot went out and spoke to his sons in law, who were pledged to marry his daughters, and said, Get up, get out of this place, for Yahweh would destroy the city. However, he seemed to his son in laws to be joking. When the morning came, then the angels hurried Lot, saying, Get up. Take your wife and your two daughters who are here, lest you be consumed in the iniquity of the city. However, he lingered. And the men grabbed his hand, his wife's hand, and his two daughters' hands, Yahweh being merciful to him. And they took him out and set him outside the city. It came to pass, when they had taken him out, that he said, Escape for your life, don't look behind you, and don't stay anywhere in the plain. Skip to the mountains, at least you be consumed. Lot said to them, Oh, not so, my lord. See now your servant has found favour in your sight, and you have magnified your loving kindness, which you have shown me in saving my life. I can't escape to the mountain, lest the evil overtake me, and I die. See now, this city is near to flee to. There is a little one. Oh, let me escape there. Isn't this a little one? And my soul will live. He said to me, Behold, I have granted your request concerning this thing also. 
that I will not overthrow the city of which you have spoken. Hurry, escape there, for I can't do anything until you get there. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun had risen on the earth when Lot came to Zoar. In Yahweh, rained on Sodom and on Gomorrah sulfur and fire, from Yahweh out of the sky. He overthrew those cities, all the plain, all the inhabitants of the cities, and that which grew on the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him. She became a pillar of salt. Abram got up early in the morning to the place where he had stood before Yahweh. He looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah, and toward the land of the plain, and looked, and saw that the smoke of the land went up as the smoke of a furnace. And God destroyed the cities of the plain. God remembered Abraham, and sent Lot out of the middle of the overthrow. When he overthrew the cities in which Lot lived, Lot went up out of Zoar, and lived in the mountain, and his two daughters with him. For he was afraid to live in Zoar. He lived in a cave with his two daughters. The firstborn said to the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man on the earth to sleep with us in the way of all the earth. Come, let's make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve our father's family line. They made their father drink wine that night. The firstborn went in and lay with her father. He didn't know when she lay down, or when she arose. It came to pass on the next day, that the firstborn said to the younger, Behold, I lay last night with my father. Let us make him drink wine again tonight. You go in and lie with him, that we may preserve our father's family line. They made their father drink wine that night also. The younger went and lay with him. He didn't know when she lay down, or when she got up. Thus, both of Lot's daughters were with child by their father. The firstborn bore a son, and named him Moab. He is the father of the Moabites to this day. The younger also bore a son, and called his name Ben-Ami. He is the father of the children of Ammon to this day.